What's good, y'all? It's your motherfucking boy, Julius, man. And we back, you know what I'm saying, with another reaction video for y'all, man. Salute, salute to all the motherfucking supporters out there. Truly appreciate y'all, man, from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. Y'all already know that. You know what I'm saying? Joe, y'all see what's on the screen, man. We got Token in the building today, y'all, right? You know what I'm saying? With IOD featuring Lil Skies, all right? Now, I've been getting a lot of requests to do this joint right here. So we ain't doing no more motherfucking talking, man. We getting right into this shit. So let's go. Let's get into this, man. Let's see what we got. Feel me? Right, let's go. I all did on everything I love, everything I love, everything I love. I all did on everything I love, cause everything I love don't love me no more. And I've been waking up so different, no ambition to leave home. Liquor hit a little different when you sip it on your own. Got a couple homies worried I ain't pick. Damn, yo. Right off, right off rip. He just talking that shit, man. He talking about just being depressed pretty much. He 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 feel different. And, and the nigga ain't, ain't, ain't the nigga ain't motivated to leave home or nothing. He drinking by himself. Like he talking that real shit, man. And it ain't it ain't good to do none of that shit to drink or whatever. It's not good, you know what I'm saying, for you and all of that. But doing it by yourself just make it a thousand times worse. It makes it a thousand times worse, you know what I mean? Because you get into a certain mode. I feel like it puts you into a certain mode when you do these type of things. And it's coming from a negative standpoint. It's it's usually not positive. You know, when you're drinking and smoking or whatever, you're not doing it from a place of, you know, a positive standpoint. You know what I mean? It's coming from a negative standpoint. So just the fact that he's starting off with that, I already know this song about to be super deep and super dark. Just off of them few lines right there. You know what I mean? Like just off of those, just off of those, you know what I mean? Beginning words. I already know this shit about to be super deep, man. Real shit. Picking up the phone, funny thing is when I hide, I'm the one who get exposed. I remember being young, dumb and full of limits, watching mama cry while she ate everything in the kitchen. Now I'm in the waiting room of a clean build, about to see my sister for a rehab's monthly visit. White lies is a problem for me. Pride is a problem for me. Some things are just stronger than me. Addiction in my blood, I'm an addict for the love. I might turn to something else if I don't feel I have enough. Cause I It's that last line right there, man. That shit is deep right there, man. He said, I'm an addict. I'm an addict for the love. I might turn into something else if I feel like I don't get enough. Like, that's real shit right there, man. He, he pretty much saying, I'm going to turn into somebody I don't want to turn into if I feel like I'm not getting the love that I deserve, the love that I want. Now, that love could be from family. It could be from you know, a girlfriend or whatever. It it could be any kind of relationship like that or all of those relationships at the same time. You know what I mean? So just the fact that he's saying that, and you could tell he mean that shit too. Like, it, it's, it's a clever line. Of course it's a clever line, but at the same time, he really mean that shit. He really mean what he say. Like, if I don't get enough of the love, I'm going to turn into some negative shit that I don't want to turn into. And that's real shit, man. It really don't get no realer than that. It don't get no realer than that, man. Everything I love, I all did on everything I love, cause everything I love, don't love me no more. I'm overdosing on your love, any drugs 
I can't get enough The purple potion helps me out when you can't lift me up Roll up a blunt, get in my zone, I guess I like the rush I took some time and looked around, now it's just only us I'm an outsider, baby, never felt like I belong Get how to right my wrongs, but please don't take that wrong I got some real demons, I got real angels too Don't know what I would do if I can speak my truth he said, he said, I get high to right my wrongs. Like, come on, man. He talking that shit too, bro. He feel like when he get high, it's helping him get back to a better place. It's helping him come to a place of, like, you know, realization. Like, I'm trying to make things right in my life. And I feel like if I get high, the high is going to help me do that. You know, the high is going to help me get to a better place. Like, it make you feel good. I ain't got nothing against weed, man. I just say that right here and now. I don't give a fuck how nobody feels about it. I ain't got nothing personal against weed because weed has helped me in my life for a long time. You know, throughout my whole entire life. You know what I mean? You know, starting from age like, you know, 14, 15 or whatever. You know, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me through different things, you know what I mean? It's helped me get through a lot of crazy shit, a lot of negative shit, where I was able to come out on the positive side. And a lot of people don't believe that weed does that or whatever. Everybody has their speculation and their opinion about different things or whatever. Me, personally, I have nothing bad to say about weed. It ain't never did nothing wrong to me. <laughs> I ain't never did no stupid shit while I was high or anything like that, but... You know, other drugs, I ain't got nothing to say about that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. People going to do what they want, whatever. I don't feel people should do drugs of any kind. But if you feel like that's what you want to do, and I can't stop you. If you're a grown person, then you can't stop a person. Like, I can do my best to try and lead you in the right direction. I can do my best to tell you, like, yo, like, that shit is fucked up. I don't, I don't think... You should do that. I don't think you, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think you, you know, you should go down that path. But if people feel like that's what they want to do, then you can't stop a person, man. But, you know, out of everything, weed is the one thing that I won't say nothing bad about because I ain't never had a bad experience from smoking weed. So I ain't going to say nothing bad about it. But, it is what it is, right? <laughs> True. Real trials and tribulations, hard work and dedication. Product of my surroundings, my life for Rocky Mountain. But I'ma keep on climbing, and they gon' keep on doubting. Get up and get the greatness, don't got no time for slouching. One love. I he said, people gonna keep hating, and, and, and life is a Rocky Mountain, but I'ma keep climbing. You know what I'm saying? You know, the nigga gonna keep climbing that mountain. No matter how hard it get, no matter how devastating it might seem to you or how far you feel like you have to go to climb that mountain, you know what I'm saying, to get to the top, you gotta keep going regardless of the fact. You gotta keep motherfucking pushing up that mountain because if you don't, then you gonna motherfucking prove the naysayers and the doubters right. You, you, you gonna make them see that they was right about things they were saying about you. They saying certain shit, and you proving them right. We don't want to do that. We, we gotta keep. We gotta keep moving up the ladder and climbing up the mountain as long as we can. And we gotta do it to the best of our ability. Everybody ain't gonna move at the same pace. Everybody ain't gonna move at the same pace. Everybody is gonna move at their own pace and. That's what it's going to be. You know what I mean? But you can't judge another person for how slow they might be moving or how fast a person is moving. And you feel like you're not moving as fast as them or whatever. Fuck all that, man. Move at your own fucking pace. Don't worry about what people are fucking talking about. Don't worry about motherfuckers talking shit because people going to talk regardless. Motherfuckers going to say shit about you regardless. Whether you're doing good or you're doing bad or you in between. It doesn't matter, motherfucker. Like... People are going to talk shit about you regardless. That's what people do. That's what a lot of people are designed to do. They're designed to hate. They're designed to talk shit. To try and get in your head. To try and make you come down the motherfucking ladder. They want you to be at the bottom where they at. But fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Go for what you want to go for in life, man. Put your best foot forward every fucking time. And just keep climbing up that motherfucking mountain. That's what we supposed to do. We ain't supposed to worry about nothing else but making progress 
in our motherfucking lives. You feel me? Real shit, man. Everything I love. Real shit right there, bro. Uh, yeah, that's that's real shit right there, man. Shouts to Token, shouts to Lil Skies, man. I O D, great track right there, man. I mean, what more do I need to say about a track like that? Really well put together, motherfucking song right there. Beat the bars. The meaning behind the lyrics, you know, everything was on point, man. Everything was on point. So, shouts to Token, shouts to Lil Skies once again. Dope motherfucking track right there, man. I definitely fuck with it. Real talk. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that joint right there, man. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Like this joint if you was feeling it. Share it with your peoples. Tell your friends, your family. Tell everybody about the motherfucking channel, man. So we could keep making it grow crazy. Feel me? And I'm um, sub to the channel, man. If y'all ain't sub yet, hit that motherfucking sub button. You feel me? And hit that little bell notification up top. So you know when your boy drop another vid on y'all. You feel me? That's it, man. That's all I got for this one right here. But I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Ow.